Okay. Under all of these cabinets are adjustment feet. So after I put everything in place, I determined uh, that the highest point in the entire thing uh, was either that corner or this corner. But I adjusted all of the feet under all of these things so that the whole thing was level, and then we dropped this on. So if you go back far enough, you'll see me crawling around on the kitchen floor for hours to get everything level. And I intend to do the same thing over here. <clears throat> and by default, I put the feet on the broom closet that sits here in the corner. And the broom closet exists so that if I get a, a French door fridge, then the, the left hand door can open without slamming into the wall, but we'll still be able to open fully. So there was a, the fridge couldn't be flush with the wall. So that's what that's about. All right. So the issue is that there are feet on that, fine. But in the tradition of the other renovation that I did, I built a fridge surround because I was asked to do it once. So I guess now it's just my default. I'm gonna do it every time. <clears throat> so that's fine. The issue though is that I put the feet on the broom closet. I did not put feet on the fridge surround. And what that means is that the, I can't adjust the broom closet at all because the, let's see if I can show you. Ta -da. Okay. So the intent, and I'm caught up on my car. There we are. All right. So the intent was always for the two tops to remain level. Right now, that's hard to picture because I've got um, a stabilizing brace. Uh, at the bottom there, uh, but at any rate, the idea is for those two surfaces to remain level, and when they're properly installed, I will clamp them, screw them together so that relative to one another, they are uh, static. So the issue is that this was measured out to be equal, but before I put the feet on, and so there can't be any variation under there, so, uh, yeah, so I may have to cut one or both uh, pieces to fit because as careful as I was, a uh, simple reality is that the likelihood of this being perfectly flat and level is almost nil. That, that's just how houses are, particularly houses that were tiled by a relative newbie. So that's why I'm going to be crawling all over the floor today. I knew that I had put one cross brace on there to keep the walls uh, static, stable, whatever you want to call it. Um, but looking at that one down there, I just looking at it for the last however long, I uh, figured that that would stay where it is. But as I put it up against the wall, I can see that um, based on the way everything else is cut out, I actually expected to remove that. So that will have to happen in a moment or two. In the meantime, um, running out of wire. In the meantime, reasonably level, not too bad. The feet may still have to come off the other piece, and there may have to be a little bit of cutting. Right now, the far back corner, uh, the other three feet exist in the one of the back corner I took off. So if I take the other three off, and apparently I'll have to, uh, I will have to uh, cut a little bit to accommodate that back corner because it's a little bit high. I mean, the tile is a bit high. 
So this is uh, actually much, much better than I was expecting. But uh, clearly, still some stuff to be done. Tomorrow I remember a plan to replace that strut or whatever you want to call it, bar, stringer, etc. Uh, with uh, a meter stick, a yard stick. What is this? This is four feet. I don't know what that counts as. It's greater than a meter. Anyway. Um, So it's, it's really uh, narrow, so it wouldn't push the thing too far out from the wall. It turns out that, I don't know if you can see me right now, but this, this wall has a bit of a bow in it. So this will actually be hidden under the projection, protrusion, whatever you want to call it. And that being the case, I guess there's really no downside to putting it in. There's no reason I shouldn't and it will keep these walls uh, at a constant distance. So I think that's what we'll do. Um, the joy of this thing is that it's already essentially, I don't, I don't have to measure and calculate anything, it's already done for me. So let's just uh, scrub it and cut it. And the ruler happily is <coughs> aluminium, so I can do that on my table saw. So I'm just going to cut maybe half a millimeter or a millimeter inside the um, case. I lost my line for a second there. There, so I can't miss. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. There, okay, that's in frame. see that it makes contact with the wall approximately here and there's actually quite a bit of clearance at the back where the um, the ruler went uh, <laughs> and a huge gap at the top now this is going to have to come back a little bit so like this I don't know how much but a little bit probably make do with popsicle sticks at the bottom Looking at this, I see that I'm going to have an enormous problem. And that is that once this cabinet is in place, the gap here, that's basically uh, 24, like not quite 30 inches. And because of this overhang, there's probably 
almost exactly the amount of depth um, from here to here as there is here to here, which means that any fridge that will slightly poke out of this thing won't fit. I won't be able to navigate it past and then slide it back in. <clears throat> and offhand, I'm not sure how to handle that. Okay, so we got <clears throat> a single cut that seems to have very closely brought these two uh, tops together. As always, there are gaps, you know, here because the wall is not straight. And I'm going to have to do some work here because this has a bow in it. Uh, probably this has a bow in it, so I'm not... Sorry, this has a bow in it as well. This ha definitely has one, and probably this one does. I'm not entirely sure how I will deal with that. Probably <clears throat> I will attempt to fasten some kind of a straight edge, such as the um, yeah the level, four foot level. Maybe I'll clamp that to the front. Yeah, that definitely has a bow in it. So I clamp this thing, I get it straight, and then when I'm sure it's straight, I start screwing it into the uh, broom closet. So I think that's how I'll handle that. Um, uh, I remain concerned about the depth of any fridge that's going to go in here. Um, actually, really concerned. And I don't know how I'm going to handle that. So it may become necessary to actually cut this whole uh, thing back a few inches. So I I don't know how to handle that, to be honest. Um, so maybe I'll stop talking and I'll go find out how to handle that before I say anything more. I think, uh, yeah, we'll leave it there for now.